Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Back again, baby. Got two videos to record today. I'm uh, fresh out of bed, just woke up because I'm I got plans today. So we gotta bang these out so my friends don't have to wait too long. I clicked on this, by the way. I didn't notice that there was like a. You can go look at all of this shit here. Like you can see overall win rate. I think. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let me double check that I don't have anything goofy on. Oh yeah, I have Myriad Offers on. I'm going to turn it off. Myriad Offers gives you like seven, like seven or eight choices, but they're all tier five and six curses, which I think is kind of gross. Mm, let's play, let's play defensive. I, you know, eventually I'm going to have to stop myself from just clicking the low rarity parties, but defensive is fun. I think this is one of my more enjoyed curses. Uh, you know what? I've actually played this run before. Not this team, but I played defensive with Skulk. This is good. Static blanks, add stasis to all blank sides. Ooh, yeah, I don't want that. I like this though. So Skulk is during the first turn, during the first turn enemies have plus one. So what we do with this is we play this defensive party and we just live through it. And then later on, uh, it's like no curse basically. It's a good combo, but it's also going to take me a long time to do this run. So I hope you're settled in. Get yourselves a nice little drink, perhaps. Something to eat, even. If you like a little snack before you're going off. We're going to be here for a minute. And that's okay with me, you know? I don't mind. At the end of the day, a win's a win. The big thing that you want for this... So when I last time I played this party, I fought uh, Inevitable. And... That fight was like 20 plus turns. It was really dire. I want Enchanter. I know some people have been telling me they like Enchanter. And I, the point that people have made for me that I think is actually real is Enchanter can help you play something like Gambler. You can pay two mana to hit on Gambler's side. But this team does not play something like Gambler. So, you know. Anyway, the big thing that this team is going to want is Profit. But I also don't know how we're going to fight against, uh, what's his name? Fucking The Hand. I have no real ideas about that. So, I don't know. We'll see. You can cast spells from defeated heroes, replace the left side with plus three mana pain. This is really good. Giving, like, Warden or Acolyte plus three mana pain. I think it's supposed to go on Hoarder. But, I don't know. Yeah, so the, the problem this team faces, I think, is any boss that uh, races them, I think you have trouble against. I don't know, because your whole team is just this yellow. So you have to find something that he can do, basically. I need to find him... I, I need to find a version of him that can solo carry, basically, I think. But we are just so hard to kill and man i would this party but you replace this guy with a blue Ooh. you can't really do it though because then your team just loses if you walk into any uh, thorn in the early game you just have a chance to not be able to kill it i think pilgrim is fine again i was originally very skeptical of pilgrim i think he's fine nine health stun Reuse the self shield is whatever, but nine health sun is pretty good. I should be locking this one mana. It's hard when I play these runs to get uh, what side is supposed to be locked through my head. Like, Acolyte always locks the one mana, healer can roll for the two mana. I have to differentiate which dice is which while it's rolling. It's a little challenging, but, you know, I'll be all right. What are you on? You're on 12, you're on 6, I don't think I'm ever hitting that. Yikes. I have Restore, which I can press here. Uh, I also have 8, you're on 10. If I locked orders. If I locked, I could have killed here. If I locked his, uh... Is that a hero with a five? Huh. 
If I, I think he had an exert that I didn't want to lock, I could have locked to stun. It's okay. Yeah, the only thing that really kills us here is poison stacking up. Uh, I'm gonna go two, I'm gonna go one. I'm just looking for the stun now. I think you lock the reuse. Hmm, maybe I roll for the stun. Nah, no, I lock the reuse, because what if I roll death defy? I'm gonna be sad. Two reuse, two. I go roll. Okay. Whatever. Sorry, it's one, two is what I'm trying to press, and then nine. Okay, so I'm gonna shield hoarder here. He is probably the best of what we could have had here for our starters. Seven, he's on eight. Troll is a nightmare, though, for this team. This is like, let me out of here. Man, I bet this team is really going to suffer versus Troll King, huh? Hmm. Well, that's a problem for me of the future. Me right now is to figure out how I'm actually killing Troll Troll. I need Warden to start rolling two damage. That's the issue. This dude just won't roll me two damage for some reason. I live. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, he's just sitting here, chilling. We can mend through the poison, too. This guy's on seven. Please, someone hit me a two damage. I'm begging you. Nah, not that two damage order. Hmm. Hmm. I got a roll here. I run two, four, six. I I can lock this and just guarantee lethal. It's like what one out of six times I miss here. And then what? I don't know. I'm gonna roll it. I don't think it happens to me. Acceptable. Because this, if I'm not mistaken, is two, four, six, eight. Thank God. Now I can say I hope we don't fight Troll King. Terrarium is pretty good. I think anything with growth is going to be strong for us. Is what we will find in this one. I can just like pass here and let the blind leave. That's probably going to make a lot of sense. You don't know this guy, by the way. It's uh, if no damage was dealt to any monster, he runs. I can just in turn. He's gone. It's a nice little starter. Great enemy for me to fight for this team. Uh, I'm. I wonder if this team is actually good. I think they're very fun, but I do wonder if this team is actually something you can click on because I feel like you put yourself into a lot of. Uh, absolute losable positions where you just have no counterplay. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Like, Brute, I don't think I can pick. I think he's not powerful enough. Now, Fey is okay. But yeah, I don't think... Brute is like... Is this single cast now, by the way? Yeah, Circle got nerfed to be single cast. I think... Brute is just, like, not enough damage, right? He's consistently okay, but I need more than that. Hmm. I'm gonna roll for a big shield here, actually. I guess three or a four. Two damage, two damage. Two damage. I can kill this pseudo. Okay, I'll take that. Also acceptable. And now we just uh, roll shields and get these militia to leave. Uh, two heal. I'm looking for bigger than two. But like, what if I roll mana? Nah, heal our rolls better. We can heal mana gain. Self shield, probably. I'm gonna go for bigger than two. Hmm. I think it's, it is two damage, but these are seven. This is five. I need a two from you. I'm gonna roll it. Almost. Okay. 
You almost died, buddy. Hmm. Well, I guess my fate just dies. What can you do? Nothing, apparently. Should have locked the two shield. Not much to be done. Oh no, I could have saved her. Sorry, I got the wrong red. Hmm. If I had hit the other red, I would have saved her. Well, that one's on me. I, I had the week in here to save. I just didn't see it. Again, hard for me to get used to this. This goes here. Hmm. I'm gonna make the other one flee. That'll be fine. Yeah, hopefully losing Faye there doesn't matter. I don't think it should. Ooh, what is this? All heroes add sprint to the bottom side. Times five, this forms a straight of length five. Sure, man. It's fun. I mean, it's no negative. It's just a positive. But it is a pipe dream. I pain and plus one to all mana or mana gain sides. Huh. It's pretty good in this team. I don't think I want diving suit. We have double healing, so pain is pretty good. Uh, so this is now, if I can roll like one, two, three, four, five, I'll get a time X5 if I can hit that. Let me just hear this. Oh, you know what? No, I don't have the playlist on shuffle. So, oh, I think anyway, a lot of the songs in this section of the playlist sound kind of similar, which is why I went, oh, I, haven't I already heard this? No, I have not. Okay, I mean, I really don't want to be hitting the Slimer. I need to be rid of this hoarder ASAP. But ASAP, uh, you know, I'm fucking three pigs deep and all I've seen is Brute, so... Old Hoarder would be crushing it here. New Hoarder? Hmm. A little bit of trouble, isn't he? Two plus one. Not really. I need to roll mana, I think. Two. That'll do. That'll do. And I'll just take the four heal for Pilgrim here. Deathify, though. Popped off here a little bit. That was a, that's a big death to fight. This team probably can make use of death to fight because these fights are going to go so long that eventually it'll work out. Zero, one, two, four. I really want to see if a three counts. Do you have a three? You do have a three. Roll me your three, Hoarder. Ah, fuck you. I should let you use it. Actually, I think you are going to have to use it. That's on you, buddy. That's your fault. I wanted to see, because this is a zero pip side, so I want to see if it would go zero, one, two, three, four for me. But, alas, I didn't hit the three. Herbalist Berserker. Herbalist is very, very good. But... You need a damage powerhouse? I think you have to click on Berserker, because what yellow is better? Uh, it takes me a moment to figure out this menu now. Scrapper, maybe, but it really, like, it's just Berserker for me here. Give me that guy. What do you know? I don't really need the book here, so I'm going to chill. I don't need to put it on. Turn one is going to be the hard part here. If we can kill Magrat, we'll guaranteed win this fight. Self shield. Yeah, we have so much support for Berserker too. Uh huh. Two. That kills Magrat. Oh hey, let's see it. We got it. Zero, one, two. Oh no, this is four four. That's four four. I'm a fool. I don't have a three. I'm not rolling for a three either. I am going to lock this heal though, because I think it's good to take Berserker back to full here. Would have preferred to be able to weaken Agnes, but killing one witch on turn one is all that really matters here. The Skulk is... If she wasn't if she wasn't poisoning me, I could have probably left her alive, but... Ah, uh, you know. Two wolves, I'm un unfazed. 
absolutely unbothered by two wolves inside of you. I want mana, please. Boost doesn't do much. The weaken of the mana, please. Okay. Good. Four mana lets me go like. I could play circle here, and then it's not quite so bad. But I am getting a little bit clobbered. Yeah, circle isn't right. You're on six, so the play here is gonna be boost here on the berserker. Let him swing five, self shield. Four mana, kill Gaitha. Uh, next turn I can mend Berserker. Right, I understand. Because the last time I played that around, I was doing uh, two mana here for Circle, leaving me with three plus four, which is seven, but I don't have a way to do three damage. I see. Because in my mind, that was like the same. But I don't have Vine your issue. Mm -hmm. Roll me something a little better here, Berserker. Better. Very nice. Um, this goes here. That goes there. I can fix you. What? Berserker, why are you yelling? Don't yell at me. Maybe like this. That's me versus the two wolves inside of me. This is probably right. I think I could spend a lot more time on this, and I don't really want to. I think this is good enough. I don't think I need to optimize any further. We can just start locking things to save our lives here every turn until it's over. I'm gonna go for the heal four though. Heal two is probably your worst side. Mm, you'll do better. Never mind. Death to five and then mend pilgrim to five, I guess. Hmm. Or. Sorry, my mistake. Boost, shield three, deathify. Ah, it all comes out to be the same. I don't think you end up with extra health anywhere. No, actually, hold on. You could go boost here, deathify, mend, mend is better. Yeah, this ends up with a little more health. I gotcha. Well, I think I end up spending more mana for that. I should have one left over otherwise. Whatever. Eventually, my defensive party is going to find it in their hearts to kill these wolves. I know it to be true. But my su sustain is higher than their damage. It's just annoying, basically. They're just irritating me to death. Mm -hmm. And Berserker has decided he's punched out for the day, you know, fucking union mandated break man over here. Goes, oh yeah, you know what, I did my job, I'm on break boss. Come on Berserker, there's wolves to kill. Roll me a four damage already. Three damage, acceptable, thank you. He's off his lunch break. Glass Blade's a four now? Hmm. I can click that. More damage is very nice. Who holds this? Hey, probably Fay. Just don't get sniped here. Four damage, good. Five damage, good. Two damage, good. Stun for the sniper that's killing Fay. Oh, the sniper isn't killing Fay. The sniper's killing healer. You go like what? Five, four, two, stun. Okay, nice to have an easy fight every now and then. Priestess Druid. It's gotta be Druid. I think Priestess got so bad here. With fucking Prey going to deplete. She gives you the... I mean, I I should have to click her at some point just to play it, but... Ah, 
That's a tough ask. She's pretty bad. Druid is good too with the growth. Like, it's for sure a druid. But, oh my god, poor priestess. Man. She got gutted. The real problem, though, is that health. Good god, her health. I bet you could actually roll for a 5 here. That would be ideal. 2... Three, reuse, boost, four, two. I see. I got it. It's three, reuse, boost, four, two. Shield druid. That works. It's a lot of poison, but, uh, you know. If they live this turn, that's not my problem. Good enough. Also, you have cleanse. Five, three, two. Nice. I think I have to click Cliff of Purity. I don't believe you can go without some form of cleanse on this team. Fights have to go forever. I'll take it. It's not even good right now, but this is a long-term click. I don't think I need anything to survive Fnatic Spiker. Fnatic is my ideal enemy. This is like the optimized fight for me. 13, 4, you can't lock that, you're getting punched. Oh, I see it. Sorry, just took me a second. It clicked. Honestly, Berserker, you can just roll again. You're gonna roll for Death Wish, because I'm not playing anything else on you. Yeah, so do you see it? Because I see it now. It's probably a shield here. Anyway, 2 plus 2 is 4, which puts the spiker on 9, which is then what Pilgrim's HP is for a stun. Man, they really want to break my glass blade off here. This shit's getting kind of uh, ridiculous. 3, 4, growth shield. Or, no. I'm gonna kill Fnatic? No, I'm gonna go double growth here, actually. Why should I kill Fnatic when I could just build my growth shields up a bunch and then he dies himself? I like this song. I know this song because it always comes up and I go, man, this song's so loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a bit. Good. Forsaken or Paladin? Paladin is cleanse. And he's damaged too, you know? I've been. This could be Paladin's run. I've been kind of skeptical of Paladin, but he's like, damage. He hits people. I'm down. I will glitch. I never want to see you again. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Get away from me. Cleanse here. Cleanse here. Mana gain here. We can just stun whoever's hitting Fey and put one here. I should reroll, because the one weaken is worthless. I locked it thinking it mattered. Yeah, better. Cleanse here, cleanse here. Maybe I have too much cleanse now. Helpful. Hmm, that works. Once we get past the Skulk turn, things are much more in my favor. Self-shield cleanse. We can just pop one of the bones. Probably top bones. Two mana. Yeah, they got him. Top bones dies. Are you dying too? Three damage even. Can clear. I think that won't clear. Oh, that will clear a, a petrify. Nice. Very good. <laughs> and we begin our long war. Hope you're ready. Get yourself settled in. I'll be stabilized soon. As soon as I can roll. Yeah, four damage. Maybe a... F Actually, I don't even need this four damage. I want my Berserker to not just send it to zero here. He doesn't have to die. We can take this fight slow. We can growth. We can kill bones. We can chill. A 
I want to hit balance for the health. I wonder if that's wrong. Yeah, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually just going to reuse mana. I don't want to pop out another bones here, because he's already making two. Though, the name of the game here is Control. I have to play these fights out on my terms, and my terms are controlling spawns a lot. As best as I can. Like, we'll hit him for five here, because it's very good. Poor Pilgrim can't stun shit, though. He's just printing bones. Just about as fast as I can kill him, actually. My team is pretty good at killing bones. This this is Paladin's dream fight here, I gotta say. It's like a perfect setup for my guy. So, and he'll die to the bone damage. Like, if, if he keeps making bones, I'm happy. First impression of Paladin? That was probably too hard on this guy originally. I had maybe too high of hopes. This is our circle turn for sure. I think that changed, by the way. I'm pretty sure it used to be it would self-heal then self-shield. Maybe not. I always remember going, hmm, that feels like the wrong order. It's probably me, actually. I think I'm just wrong. Okay, Lich. If I just do this, he leaves. Oh, I got a achievement for that. Stun an enemy with 20 or more max HP. <laughs> Ocular Amulet Blinding Bull. After an ability is used, self-shield to... I don't really see myself spamming, but... I think I do want to pick Blinding Bolt here. Ocular Amulet's always a known quantity. It's a plus one. This, if I hit someone with a steel side, it can just win me the game. Four mana suddenly becomes plus eight on a steel side, which is huge damage. So I'm in for that play. Uh, Druid, nobody's actually dying once I stun the Cyclops here. So I will do that. Ooh, I'm super stunning the Cyclops here. That's pretty good. He goes to one. We actually have some decent damage output now with Paladin Berserker. I wonder how long it'll last. This is done rolling. Do you think I'm going to hit a straight in this run? Me neither. Ooh, Wanderer is probably the optimal pickup here, actually. This is big. Era? Yeah. I'm making good use of this guy. Terrarium now. Uh, it can sit out for now. I don't think I need to force my items to be good all the time. The banditos. Hey, hit my wanderer. It'll make his defy do one. Come on. We're gonna stun a snake here. The snake's low rolled, which is very nice. Oh, you're still dying. Hmm. Three, four plus three is seven. Oh, I can just kill the bandit that's killing you. Sorry? Oh, I can hit my buttons too fast. Gotcha. Hmm. Sorry, I see it, I see it, I see it. You cleanse here. We don't want Fey double poison. Stun there. And then kill the other bandit. This one, which is killing my druid. I got it. Maybe you can go overkill a snake there too, potentially. But yeah, also eventually they're just going to let me defy and kill. So eventually I'm just going to hit a seven. And then these bandits are going to run. Actually, I think I'm going to hit the snake. That's the fight. We go burst over. That's not the overkill. This is the overkill. That'll do. 
Yeah, I think Wanderer will be our goat here. This is our hard carry. Here's what my run is doing. So glad that he's sick nasty now. Twisted Bar? Uh, Faye is pretty good with that. I could also just go Broadsword and give someone a super gun. It's a lot of damage. I think I go Twisted Bar though. Oh god, I don't want to fight this fight. Play Twisted Bar. Yeah, it's super good with Faye. I don't know if it'll stay good, but it's good right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three, two, three, zero. I mean, it's pretty hard to make a straight here. Faye is just getting eliminated, so I have to do something about that. Lens shield three for Pilgrim, that's pretty good. Uh, Wanderer is taking a five, which we can go here, three, reuse. This guy's cleansed. Three, burst looks fine. You like this? I like this. Druid gets a little petrified, but that's okay. Maybe I should have killed one of the thorns with Faye there. I don't know. Four damage is one of you dead. Two cleanse, cleanse. I kind of want to roll for a reuse just to kill these thorns, but Death Defy is also good. Oh. Oh, I didn't actually know this. Did you know cleanse goes in reverse order? Hmm. That's interesting. Good to know for the future. I probably did know that. It's like, I, I think if you asked me to tell you which order it went in, I probably would have gotten it right. But when I did it there, actively thinking about it, I was wrong. Isn't it? Interesting. Very nice. Poet. Over Pilgrim? Wraith over Fae. Uh, Poet holds Cliff of Purity super well. And Charge Shield is probably the way. Just that Wraith is kind of nice. I'm going to go Poet. It just ends up not being quite as good for Blinding Bolt as I had hoped, but that's okay. Because we could have held out for, like, well, Granite's gone, actually, now that I think about it. Who could I have held out for there? Is there anyone I could have held out for there? Let me see. Not you, not you, not you. I guess not. No, I, yeah, there was, there was Keeper, but Keeper doesn't really use it, so. Hmm. Interesting. Isn't it? Two, and we want, we're, this is a longer fight for sure. By the way, I want to make sure I make it clear, I don't think I like Poet anymore. I think I do not believe in Poet. I was only just coming around on him, and now I think he's kind of like, eh, He's alright. I'll go heal shield 3. This is a long fight, so we want to take turns where the bosses are doing nothing to just mop up the adds and heal. These are in between turns, because everything is long, because uh, I sit here and I let Wanderer scale era. Okay. Leave the lady be. This turn's actually fine. Uh, 4, 5, 5, 3, 2. If I had a 6 here, actually? Hmm, too bad. Just shockingly close to hitting uh, my... Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't tell you about Poet's spells. Poet has Clink now. Shield 1 to all allies, single cast, boost. It's interesting, is what I would say. Uh, let's not be silly here, because I'm being a little silly here. Sorry, it goes here, here, here. I want to cleanse, and I want to just kill the poison. And then the part that's silly is I can just kill the guy that's targeting Faye. Or actually, I can ignore him, because Faye has blinding bolt. 
and I can kill here. And then it's like I didn't even need to cleanse. Because I didn't. I lost my death to Fi, by the way, so Faye's always dying in this fight. I was just gonna ask myself, I wonder if she still dies if I hit uh a one, two, no, nah, still no. It's just like you pick that blessing and then it just sits there in the back of your brain for the rest of the run. I was gonna say, if I wonder if I kill Tarantus in one shot from like 11 HP if Faye still dies. I think the answer is yes. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet here. Eh, you know what? I don't have to bite the bullet here. It's fine. Tarantus is probably our best boss, although I think we would have been fine against all of them, really. I don't think there was a boss that I was afraid of here. Uh, Troll King maybe, but we can probably outlive Troll King. Um, sure, I think I'm basically- the siphon I'm using, but the rest of these I'm not, so I'm down to get a tier 4. Dynamo, oh yeah. Sushi Greatsword. Greatsword is more damage. Sushi is good, because we can play Silk Cape Sushi, but I don't really want that. My team is consistent, right? Wanderer hits, Paladin hits, Poet hits. Yeah, I'm gonna go Great Sword here. And we can go 5 damage inspired on Druid. Druid just hits people now. <laughs> My Druid is holding a bunch of swords. I guess Dynamo on Paladin is okay. Maybe not. I think Dynamo is going to depend on if I want, or it's going to depend on who our boss is, more or less. On if it's good or not. 5-2. I'm going to fight this weekend back. I need some shielding for Faye, please. This is not a keyword, is it? Yeah, I didn't think so. Weaken here. Oh, you know what? I just killed the Banshee. That'll be fine. Plus one damage on Fnatic, just kills him faster. Pretty rare though that Fnatic's live three turns, I guess, to be fair. So it's not a big issue. Oh, Poet. What are you doing? I guess he's shielding, right? And he has, he has the charge shields, which are very high value. So... What he's doing here is giving me charge shielding, which is good. Like, charge shielding was probably a little undervalued in the last update, considering fucking tier 2 bard had it. Prophet Doctor. I said specifically I think we need Prophet. Also, fun fact, this is the first time I've seen Doctor. Uh, I was looking through the stats. Here he is. There's only one other- there's one character left I haven't seen now. Abelor. Has not shown up on any of my runs. Doctor is also actually not that bad for playing long with heal regen, but Prophet has Soothe, which is like the spell. So I'm gonna click on Prophet. There is no thought like, oh, you know what? Twisted Bar actually just goes on Poet now. Twisted Bar is cool. It doesn't do much for me on this run, but it's cool. And then this Blinding Bolt goes here. Okay. Ah, uh, oof. Don't lock this floor, because I can't kill anything. We just have to live here. Please stop rolling a uh, rescue heal. You know what? Good job, Wanderer. That's my guy. That's what I- and that's why he's the GOAT. Right there. If you ever had any doubts, that's why Wanderer is the best character in the game. Hmm. The interesting thing here is that I should probably go, like, kill Fnatic, kill Fnatic instead. Because I'm getting Prophet fully shielded anyway. And we'll just boost our Wanderer up. Actually, no, I want him low. You want Wanderer low on HP so that he baits eliminate and then uh, kills. But yeah, this kills two Fnatics on this turn. It just leaves the bird alive. He got targeted. He didn't bait eliminate. He just got shot. Now roll me a defy. Oh, it's 
incoming damage and it gets fucked up by shields. Didn't know that, actually. Very good to know. Take a player two here. It's fine. The way that I played this makes it so that I'm for sure living. I could soothe if you want to be super safe. Although, that's probably not right. Because I could just bounce the call back. Mm. It's whatever. Man, that rolled sideways and I was very confused for a second. As to what I was looking at. Got out of here, sniper. Was that 19? No, that wasn't 19. This is 19, because I don't have a tier 9. Second heart. Dumbbell. Dumbbell Paladin's kind of cute. He hits a bunch of 8s. He gets an 8 shield as well. Um, Second heart is extremely good for this team. That's the problem. Dumbbell's cool, but like, this is crazy. 20 health wanderer is so absurd. I'm gonna take the glass blade off of Druid here because 2 and 5 are very similar numbers, and I am trying to just kill the Hydra. Yeah, look at this. My man just fucking tanks this 11 damage and hits it right back to him. What a god. You know what? I want to roll for Inspired here on my Druid, actually. I locked mana. It's habit. I wasn't supposed to. The Inspired would have let me kill nicely, but we rolled double X's, so deserved. Hit him again. No? Okay. It's okay. Now Defy does one. We just play defensively. We go for an era. And the nice thing is he can't miss. My mouse can turn off, though. Please hold. There it goes. Um, Free poison on Paladin. Do I care? Not really. I'll soothe. The only other play there is to press uh, balance, which doesn't sound so good. Anything other than copycat, 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 and I'm happy here. Good, I'm happy here now. This goes, you're eliminating Poet, which is fine. I'm killing the Shade. Then I'm rescue healing. Heal, shield, heal. And we can just read in. You can see, even this one where I'm, I'm not like fully committed to playing defensively, but I can slow play into Hydra and walk away just fine, which is a good indicator of how we're looking here. Because Hydra should kill me for this. Hydra does so much damage. And I'm just BMing him. Oops. Oh, yeah, that time I just clicked off the screen on accident. I don't know if you know this, but I play in a windowed mode. This is a windowed mode game to me. One, two, three, four. I'm rolling for mana here. Okay. Look, man, you want me to play this way? I can play this way. I can slow play with the best of them here. I don't need to, or I shouldn't have to, but it's good to be safe, basically. Dragon. A nice middle of the road boss for us here, I think. Oftentimes I would find this to be kind of scary, but this team should have no problem. Because the big thing about dragon, this attack is heavy. And we have cleanse for these and we have defenses for these. Uh, the hand was the scary fight here. We crushed the others. So here's your big question. Do I want surgeon or do I want witch? Twisted Bar Witch lets me get a two a two weaken out, potentially to lower the poison. I think it's Surgeon. He's just so much healing though. I don't know if I need that much healing. Maybe I want Witch for the weaken, but the weaken does nothing, so I'll go Surgeon. The reason to pick the Witch there is because I can give the Witch Inspired Sword, but uh, it's fine. I just put it off. I don't think I want it. Yeah, now roll me a Defy Wanderer. Dude, inflict pain who? I don't know anyone by the name of inflict pain. I can't lock Poet here. 
I want to lock Poet here because he's just going to sit here and cantrip shield my Wanderer three times. And then I'm going to yell at him. And he didn't, actually. Very good. And I should probably just kill the bird, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's easy to get lost in the sauce here and just punch a bunch of damage and overkill, but the bird is the actual threat of this fight. This dragon is going to do very little, because I'm already going to pre-soothe for his poison cleave. And if he heavies me, that's great, because I have great single shields. Well, I guess I don't have great single shields if I roll like this. Hmm. Do I want to be safe here? Not particularly. Interesting rolls, but fine. I actually would prefer... Let's see. He's on three. Yeah, we just want to get our Wanderer back to being our heavy target. But it's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean... No. I'm rolling for the big one here, if you don't mind. And we'll just have Surgeon do some healing. Come on, Wanderer, it's all you. Nah, it's just, just like the old times, eh, buddy? You have your cool hit, you miss. It's fine. As long as I play like this, he can't do anything to me yet. His poison is unable to break through my regen, so... Don't care. Basically. Three... Yeah, this is six. I'm sorry, it's, it clicked. Took me a second there. I think this team, by the way, does not stand a chance in Nightmare Mode. I'm not even going to bother taking these guys to Nightmare Mode tonight. Uh, what am I going to play tonight? I might play Alternate. Or, you know what, I'll probably play Generate. Or I could do some custom party stuff that I know people have asked about. Uh, unfortunately, I can't take your suggestions here because I have plans and I need to go. Great job, everybody. Uh, super good. I mean, it, this is the dream. The actual dream Wanderer team. Fucking full defensive party Wanderer. He goes crazy, especially with the second heart. What a god. I think Wanderer might be my favorite character now. I'm just gonna say it. He's so sick post-rework. Love this guy. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'll do. I, I gotta go record it now, so I'll, I'll know shortly. But you'll know later tonight. For now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.